So first thing you want to do taking the Ronin out of the case is attach the battery and make sure that the switch is turned to the unlock position and you'll have to hit the button down as you press the battery in and then just flip it back to the lock position. And after that you can just screw the handlebar onto the bottom of the battery so that it'll be able to stand up. The next thing you can do after you stand it up is to unlock all three axes and set it up to the ready position. So this is what that's going to look like. Now these are all of the pieces you're going to need to build the follow focus. First off a USB-C to USB-C cord and all of these pieces and the motor. So the next thing you're going to want to do is attach this first piece onto the plate. So you can just use an Allen wrench and screw that into the holes on the end. After that, you'll be able to attach the rod the same way, just screw it in. Next thing is to attach the follow focus kind of teeth onto the lens and make sure that you have it as tight as it can go. And then the follow focus motor should just slide right onto the end of the rod and you can adjust it to wherever it'll need to be to fit onto the lens. The next thing you want to do is attach this plate to the bottom of the camera and you want to make sure that it's going to line up with where you're attaching it to the plate. There's a little hole that's lining up with sort of a nut onto the plate so you just have to press a little button in to get that to snap into place. So after that, you can kind of line up the focus motor to wherever it needs to be, and then you're ready to attach the camera onto the gimbal. So you'll have to press a little button on the front to get it to slide in. So then you can attach one USB-C to the follow focus motor, and the other one will go in the center slot on the front of the Ronin, where all the ports are. So to set up the record function on the camera, you're gonna take a USB-C to micro USB, and the micro USB end will go into the camera in this bottom slot, and then the USB-C end will go where you plugged in the other cord, but on the top port where it has the little camera icon. So once everything's attached, you can actually go ahead and balance the gimbal manually. So you'll just unlock it at the top there, and you can do the tilt first. So you just kind of slide it back and forth to make sure that it's staying balanced when it's unlocked by itself. And then you can go ahead and lock it up on the plate there. The next one will be the pan axis, so you can unlock it underneath the handle, kind of, and then slide that to wherever it needs to be until it's staying, and then lock back that one side again. Next thing is the roll axis. This one is the most tricky, kind of, um, but same thing. It has a little metal unlock, and for this one, to balance it, you kind of want to just tilt the camera in one direction. And you'll see after you've adjusted it, it shouldn't roll at all when it's tilted. Once everything's balanced to where you think it needs to be, make sure that all three of the locks are unlocked for your start position, and then that's when you can turn on the gimbal. So you'll see with that top right icon, it's orange. That means a little bit of my manual balance is off. So what I'm going to do is calibrate the camera in the top left and just let that kind of do its thing. So moving to the front of the Ronin, this little wheel with the red stripe is how you're going to be able to change your focus manually. And with the button underneath, you can do three things. Tap it twice, and it'll return the camera to its original starting position. Tap it three times, and it'll turn the camera around 180 into selfie mode. Hold it down, and it'll keep the camera in a stable position while you're moving the Ronin around it. And on the other side of the camera, you've also got your joystick controls to be able to move the camera. Another button you've got there on the back is the record button. And then you've also got the M for mode, which will change it to different sort of pre-position modes that they've got set up. If you want to go in and change any of this manually, of course you can. Um, so looking at the follow modes, you've got PF, which will just follow your pan movement. And then you've got PTF, which is pan tilt follow. So you can see when I'm moving the Ronin, it'll follow on the pan and it'll follow on the tilt um, and then if you switch it to FPV 
that's when you're going to have free movement over all three axes. You can see it'll follow tilt, pan, and the roll will move as well. Another thing you can do in the settings is change the follow speed to however fast you want the camera to respond to your movement. And then you can also swipe up and change things like the joystick speed and smoothness. Another thing you can do if you swipe left is set up a time lapse or set up a panorama or anything like that. And then if you swipe right from the main screen, you can set up silent mode, steady cam mode, or kind of disable any modes that you don't want. So to attach your phone to set up the Raveneye monitor, you just take off this rubber cover and the phone holder will just slide right into that. And then once you take out the Raveneye itself, you can just slide it right onto the hot shoe of the camera and you'll need a HDMI C to USB-C to attach it in the back there and then in the HDMI port of the camera. And you can also take that USB-C and attach it to the other side and then into that last open port. And to turn on the Raven Eye, there's just a button on the top that you can hold down. This is kind of what the final setup will look like once you have everything ready to go and connect to your phone. So once you open up the DJI app, it'll guide you through connecting your Ronin through Bluetooth. It's pretty easy. And then once you're in the app, you can do things like a balance test, check your motor parameters, and then you can also set up the Raven Eye monitor. And there's a connection guide in the app that'll help you do that. Um, but the first thing you want to do is go into your phone's Wi-Fi network and connect it to the Raven Eye. And then once you have it connected to the camera and you open it up, you'll be able to use that as your monitor so you can see it'll guide you through all the different settings that you can change you can set up your peaking and your zebra and your focus how you want it and then once you have it connected you'll switch it to video mode and then you'll be able to actually hit record either on the ronin on the camera or now with your phone and you can see that it's basically following all of your monitor functions and then once you go into playback everything that you've recorded even if you hit record on your phone will be there